Hey what's going on guys, it's Alex here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on Twixter settings in After Effects CS6. Uh, I think this works for all After Effects but I'm not sure so you have to try it out. First of all you're going to want to import your clip and then look up here at how many frames per second it is. Mine is 59. Uh, you're going to want to create a new composition with the same frame rate as that. And then you're going to want to drag your clip down and right click the clip and go to time enable time remapping this will just allow you to stretch out the clip if you uh, run out of clip when you're twitch through um, go ahead and do whatever you need to do like split your clip or whatever uh, you can do that with control and shift and d and then you're going to want to find the part of the clip where you want to twix there i want to do it about there and then go to the frame before that and then you can either type in Twixter in this search bar here and drag on Twixter Pro or you can go into if effect um, RE vision plugins and Twixter Pro once you've added that onto the clip you're going to want to come to the, the source control and check the input frame rate and change that to what your clip was mine was 59 then you're going to want to come to the image prep and change that to contrast slash edge enhance uh, change the frame interp to motion weighted blend and the warping to inverse with smart blend then you're going to want to come to the, your main BG layer settings change this to 60 and then if in FG1 settings change this to 60 uh, now go down with this arrow to your effects and then twix the pro come down to output control and then go one frame before and create a keyframe by clicking this stopwatch button next to speed go to the next frame and click this diamond button here that will just create another keyframe now you're going to want to pick what speed you want to use I find 2 works well as it gives like a nice smooth twixter without it being too slow but you can just try it out and see what you like um, when you've finished and you want to end the Twixter, just create another keyframe for 2 and then go to the next frame and create one for 100 this will just make, so that, make it so that you've got a nice smooth transition between your Twixter and the normal speed uh, after that you can add whatever you want uh, colour correction or whatever and yeah this really gives a really nice uh, effect into your edits and can make them look a lot nicer uh, I'll leave a download link, link in the description for a um, a preset in case some people are, can't be asked to do it themselves uh, and you can just open that as an after effects file and drag the adjustment layer on uh, let me just render this out so you can see what it looks like So as you can see you're about to get a nice smooth transition between the normal speed and the twixter. Go straight into your slow motion, nice smooth twixter without any ghosting. If you do get any then come to your um, here uh, in your twixter pro and put the sensitivity, main BG sensitivity up a bit. That will just get rid of the ghosting but I find it best if the clip is 59 frames per second and then you just get really nice smooth twixter so you can see that that's really smooth no ghosting at all uh, leave a like if you downloaded uh, download the the preset and uh, remember to subscribe